To get started, you want to attach your cords to your button and you want to pull them out equally at both sides. And once you've done that, you can attach your button to the top of your board. So once you've attached your button to the top of the board, you want to arrange your cords in order. So cord number one wants to be one of the longer cords and it wants to be on the outside. Cord number two wants to be one of your shorter cords. Cord number three wants to be one of your longer cords and the colour wants to match cord number one. Cord number four wants to be one of your longer cords. Cord number five wants to be one of your shorter cords. And cord number six wants to be one of your longer cords and it wants to match cord number four. So you can start at whichever side you want to do your pattern, but I'm going to start at this side. So I want to take the two cords at this side out of the way because they want to work for row one. And to do the first row, I want to take the two cords that are now in the centre. I'm going to clip these to the bottom of the board. And I want to do a square knot over these two cords. So I want to go over, over and through. under, under and through. And to do the second row I want to unclip these cords from the bottom of the board and then put the two at this side out of the way and then I want to work with the cords at this side so I want to take the two that are now in the centre and clip these to the bottom of the board and then do a square knot like I did at this side. So again going over, over and through and then under, under and through. So this is a two row repeat pattern so for the third row you're going to repeat what you did for the first row and take the two cords that are in the centre of these four cords, clip them to the bottom of the board and then do a square knot. And for the fourth row, you want to repeat what you did for the second row. So put these two out of the way. Take the two cords that are now in the centre and clip them to the bottom of the board and do another square knot. And you want to repeat these two rows all the way down until you've got the bracelet as long as you want it to be. So once you've got the bracelet as long as you want it, you can unclip from the bottom of the board and then you want to take all the cords and separate them into two sections. You want to put one section out of the way and with the remaining section, take one of your cords on the outside and leave that free and then clip the others to the bottom of the board and then you want to make the buttonhole fastening so you want to go over with the outside cord and then under and you want to keep doing this until you've got the buttonhole as large as you need it to be and how many knots you'll need will depend on the size of your button so it's a good idea to measure as you go along but once you've done this side you want to do the same thing at the other side so once you've done both sides you can take all the cords from the centre again and clip these back to the bottom of the board and then you want to do a square knot to fasten together your buttonhole. So you can do a few square knots just to fasten off and once you're happy that everything's nice and secure you can remove your bracelet from the board and then you want to trim and seal your excess. So I'm going to use a lighter to seal here, but you could use glue if you prefer. And once you've finished, you should end up with something that looks like this. And that is your completed extended square knot bracelet.